you're late, Madison Morris's great aunt grumbled as Madison's mama helped her climb into the car. She said the same thing every Thursday. Madison and her mama were never late. Still, Madison knew better than to argue. Good morning, great aunt Joelle, she chirped. As mama walked around to the driver's side, great aunt Joelle twisted in the passenger seat, giving Madison a critical look. That top isn't very flattering. Madison was wearing a neon pink t-shirt with a yellow sun on the front. It was the most cheerful thing in her dresser. She loved it. Those colors, her great aunt went on, shuddering. So bright. This was how great aunt Joelle was. The first time she'd seen Madison's new cornrows, she'd said, I don't like those braids. Your hair looks better straightened. When Madison had explained that the cornrows were easier to manage and better for her hair, never mind how cool they made her feel, great aunt Joelle had simply grumbled. Hmm. Mama got in and started the car. All set? Yes, ma'am, Madison said. Great aunt Joelle grunted. It had been Madison's idea to pick up her great aunt on Thursday mornings. Great aunt Joelle's apartment building was on the way to Madison school. The school was near the YMCA. On Thursdays, the YMCA offered free exercise classes for senior citizens. Exercise was supposed to make people happy. Of all the grown-ups Madison knew, Great Aunt Joelle was the one most in need of a happiness boost. It hadn't worked yet, but it was only a matter of time. Madison, Mama said, did you tell your great aunt about your project? Well, Great Aunt Joelle snapped, as if she'd been waiting and waiting. We're doing a unit on activism, Madison said. Activism. Great Aunt Joelle muttered the word like it was something gross, like cockroaches or snot or gorgonzola cheese. We've been learning about kids who have done stuff to change the world, Madison went on. And now we're talking about what we could do as a class to help our community. Mrs. Norrell had asked her students to each come up with one idea for a class project. Today, they were going to take turns sharing those ideas. Then they were going to vote on which project to do. Madison was desperate to have the winning idea. So she hadn't come up with just one potential project. She filled page after page after page with them. Do you want to hear some of my ideas? She asked, grabbing her notebook. Great Aunt Joelle made a sound that could be either a yes or a no. Madison chose to hear a yes. She started at the top. We could clean up around the creek. Great Aunt Joelle interrupted her. It'll be trashed again before you know it. Hmm. Madison took her pencil and drew a line through creek cleanup. We could trade library books with another school, she said next. Great Aunt Joelle scoffed. There's no way they'd return your books in one piece. 